Okay, welcome students. Uh, today we're going to be drawing this stop sign. We've did we've done the same um, single view drawing uh, manually. So now we'll do it in AutoCAD and you'll get to see how it's um, probably a little easier, a little more precise, or a lot more precise, and, um, and, and neater overall. So we'll just get right into it. Uh, what you don't see on my other screen is I've got uh, the stop sign reference drawing up in front of me. So I'm gonna start a new AutoCAD drawing. I can click on this icon here for a new drawing. And I want ACAD ISO, which is the metric drawing template. So with that selected, I can click open. That'll give me a new drawing. And for the stop sign, it is an octagon. And our octagon is going to start out as a square. So I look at my drawing, I can see that it needs to be 150 millimeters tall and 150 millimeters wide. So what I've got here in my drawing is I have something called polar tracking turned on. And what polar tracking is, is if you can see the green dashed line, is it snaps the line I'm drawing to major increments. So here we're at 90 degrees, which is vertical, 45 degrees which is diagonal and zero degrees, which is horizontal. So I'm going to do the bottom line, which is at zero degrees. And as I drag along this green dashed line, I can type in the length of the line I want, which is 150 millimeters. So I type that in, I will click enter on my keyboard and I'll zoom in a little bit with the track wheel on my mouse. Now I want to do the vertical line again, same process drag up along the dashed vertical line, move your cursor till you see it. And once you see it, you can type in on your keyboard 150. I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna bring my cursor down and hover over this starting point that I already have. Without clicking, I'm gonna drag up and you can see where it intersects. So I have two green dashed lines I want my line to go right to that intersection point. From there, I can drag down to complete the box. Everything snaps to the endpoints, the lines I've already drawn. And now you'll see I could carry on drawing, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to click Escape on my keyboard to end the line. Now I have the beginning of my octagon shape. And the next step is going to be to make the diagonal lines. So basically we're going to be making lines and then cutting the corners off of this box. So again, we use the line tool and I'm getting ahead of myself because first we need some reference points. So I'm going to use the offset command. And if I look at my stop sign drawing, I can see that the diagonal starts 44 millimeters in from the edge of this box. So once I've selected that tool, it's asking for an offset distance. Okay, so I'll type in on my keyboard, you can see 44 and click enter. Now it's asking us for an object to offset. So I'm gonna use this object and now I can offset it on either side of the object. I wanna come inside. Now, not only want to do it with that vertical line, I want to use this horizontal line, this horizontal line, and this horizontal line here. This gives me all the points I need to now draw my diagonal lines. I'm still in the offset tool and I need to get out of that now so I can click either enter or escape on my keyboard to get out of it. Now we can use the line tool. And you see it snaps right to these intersection points we've made, but it wants to keep going. So what we need to do here is either hit enter or escape on your keyboard to stop the line. You don't want to keep going and end up with double lines, which we'll talk more about later. So I'm going to use the line tool again. 
Again, stop the line tool, use it again down here, stop it, and one more time, we'll use the line tool and stop it. So now you can see I have an octagon here, but it's kind of muddied up with a bunch of other lines. First step is we will do a right selection box of all these internal lines we don't need anymore. And we can use the eraser tool to delete those. And now we just need to cut away the corners. So to cut away the corners, we will use a tool called trim. So it's the pair of scissors. With the trim tool selected, we now need to select a cutting edge. So not yet what we're gonna cut, but where are we going to cut it? So I wanna trim out this portion and this portion of these horizontal and vertical lines. So I'm gonna click on my diagonal. That's my cutting edge now. <clears throat> After I've selected my cutting edge, I hit enter on the keyboard. Now it's asking me for what do I wanna trim? I wanna trim this horizontal line and this vertical line and that's it i hit enter or escape to get out of the offset tool and now i need to use it again this time i'm going to do something a little different i'm going to click the offset tool and now when i'm sorry not the offset tool the trim tool now when i select my cutting lines i'm going to select all of them at once that's going to save us a little bit of time once i've selected them all uh, hit enter and now with you can see a right selection box I was able to cut both lines at once I could also hover over each one and do it that way too I'll hit enter to get out of the tool and there we have the octagon for our stop sign 